After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the significance of simple microscopy, the basic principles and methodology of microscopy, the types and application of microscopy. Introduction A microscope is well defined as an optical apparatus that uses an arrangement of lenses to yield magnified image of small objects. To achieve this, a stereo microscope uses a number of mechanisms that gather light and transmit the light track so that a magnified image of the observed object can be focused within a short distance. The discipline of examining small things using such an instrument is known as microscopy. Microscopic means undetectable to the eye if not assisted by a microscope. There are numerous types of microscopes and optical microscope is the most up-to-date and first manufactured microscope which utilizes light to image the sample. Electron microscopes are another category of microscopes which comprises of transmission electron microscope and scanning electron microscope. The first microscope to be technologically advanced was the optical microscope though the original originator is not easy to recognize. The primary microscope was believed to be made in 1590. Giovanni Faber coined the word microscope for Galileo's compound microscope in 1625. The optical microscope time and again referred to as light microscope is a kind of microscope which involves visible light and a coordination of lenses to enlarge images of small samples. Optical microscopes are the elementary design of microscope and were designed around 1600. Elementary optical microscopes can be very simple. Although there are countless multifaceted designs with intentions to advance resolution and sample contrast. Factually, optical microscopes were easy to improve and are prevalent because they use visible light as a result the sample can be easily observed by eye. The image from an optical microscope can be taken by standard light sensitive cameras to produce a micrograph. Initially images were taken by photographic film but contemporary improvements in CMOS and later charge couple device cameras permit the storing of digital images. Only digital microscopes are now accessible in which a CCD camera is utilized to analyze a sample and the image is displayed directly on a computer screen devoid of the requirement for eyepieces. Substitutes to optical microscopy which does not apply visible light containing scanning electron microscopy SEM and transmission electron microscopy TEM. There are two rudimentary arrangements of a conventional optical microscope. The simple with one lens and compound with many lenses. The immense preponderance of present study microscopes are compound microscopes while some economical commercial digital microscopes are simple single lens microscope. Principally a magnifying glass is a rudimentary single lens microscope. In general microscope optics are stagnant to concentrate at diverse focal depths. The lens to sample distance is adjusted and to receive a wider or narrower field of view. A separate magnification objective lenses should be applied. Most up-to-date research microscopes also have a separate set of optics for illuminating the sample. Now we'll see components of a microscope. All contemporary optical microscopes aimed for observing samples by transmitted light have the similar uncomplicated apparatus of light direction. Listed herein the order of light travels through them. Source of light, a light or a mirror. Diaphragm and condenser lens. Objective, ocular lens. In addition, the vast majority of microscopes have the same structural components. Objective turret, stage to hold the sample, focus wheel to operate the stage. Ocular eyepiece. The ocular or eyepiece is a cylinder comprehending multiple lenses. Its purpose is to converge the image in focus. The top of the body tube has an eyepiece inserted into it. 
These eyepieces can be switched with numerous other eyepieces which can insert it with variable degree of magnification. Magnification values for eyepieces comprises 2 times, 5 times and 10 times. Matching of optical configuration of objective lenses and eyepiece is done in a few high performance microscopes to give optimum optical performance. This happens ordinarily with apochromatic objectives. Stage A podium which holds a specimen which is being viewed is known as a stage. It is present beneath the objective. A hole is present in the center of the stage to let the light pass for illumination of specimen. Arms are generally present to carry slides. Light source Various sources of lights can be used. At its simplest, daylight is directed via a mirror. Most microscopes nevertheless have their own manageable source of light, generally a halogen lamp. Condenser The condenser is a lens designed to focus light from the illumination source onto the sample. The condenser may also include other features such as diaphragm and filters to manage the quality and intensity of the illumination. For illumination methods such as dark field, phase contrast and differential interference, contrast microscopy additional optical component should be precisely aligned in the light path. Frame the complete optical arrangement is conventionally fixed to a rigid arm which is further joined to a strong U-shaped foot which provides the required rigidity. The viewing angle can be adjusted using an arm angle. The frame provides a mounting point for various microscope controls. Various panels for focusing like large knurled wheel to adjust chorus focus, small knurled wheel to regulate fine focus are present in the frame. The control for lamp and condenser are some other features mounted on frame. Objective lenses On a typical compound optical microscope, there are a selection of lenses available for different applications. Many different objective lenses with different properties and magnification are available. Typically, there will be around three objective lenses a lower power lens for scanning the sample, a medium power lens for normal observation and a high power lens for detailed observation. The typical magnification of objective lenses depends on the intended application. Normal group of lens magnification may be 4, 10, 20 times for low magnification and 10, 40 and 100 times for high magnification work. Magnification The original power of a compound optical microscope is the outcome of the powers of the ocular and the objective lens. The maximum normal magnification of the oculars are 10 times and the objective is 100 times which gives an ultimate magnification of 1000 times. Now we will see types of microscope. Single Lens Simple Microscope A simple microscope is a microscope that uses only one lens for the magnification and is the original design of light microscope. Van Leeuwenhoek's microscope comprises of a small and single converging lens attached to a brass plate with a screw mechanism to hold the sample or specimen to be examined. Demonstration by British microscopists have images from such basic instruments. Though now considered basic, the use of a single convex lens for viewing is still found in simple magnification devices such as magnifying glass and the lobe. Compound microscope. It is a type of microscope which utilizes the multiple lenses in order to collect the light from the sample and then to focus the light into the eye. Separate set of lenses are used these microscopes are more heavy, large and expensive as compared to simple microscopes because of the increase in the number of lenses used in construction. The main benefit of multiple lenses are upgraded numerical aperture, decreased chromatic abrasion and exchangeable objective lenses to modify the magnification. A compound microscope also makes 
more advanced illumination setup such as phase contrast. Fluorescence microscope. Modern biological microscopy depends deeply on the progress of fluorescent probes for definite structure within a cell. In contrast to normal trans-illuminated light microscopy, fluorescence microscopy in which the sample is illuminated through the objective lens with a narrow set of wavelengths of light. This light interacts with fluorophores in the sample which then emit light of longer wavelength. It is this emitted light which makes up the image. Stereo microscope. The stereo or dissecting microscope is an optical microscope variant design for low magnification observation or a sample using incident light illumination rather than trans illumination. It used two different optical paths with two eyepieces and two objectives in order to deliver slightly separate viewing angles to the left and the right eyes. A three dimensional imaging of the sample is produced in this way. The stereo microscope is frequently used to analyze the surfaces of solid specimen or to carry out close work such as sorting, dissection, microsurgery, watchmaking, small circuit boards, manufacture or inspection etc. The stereo microscope should not be mixed up with a compound microscope fitted with double eyepieces and a bino viewer. In such microscope, both eyes get the same image, but the binocular eyepieces deliver greater observing comfort. However, the image in such a microscope is no different from that obtained with a single monocular eyepiece. Comparison microscope. A comparison microscope is a tool used to examine simultaneous specimens. It comprises of two microscopes linked by an optical bridge which results in a split view window allowing two separate objects to be viewed consecutively. This prevents the viewer having to depend on memory when associating two objects under a conventional microscope. The modern apparatus has various optical, mechanical and electronic refinements including fiber optics illumination video capabilities, digital imaging, automatic exposure for conventional photography. Petrographic microscope. A petrographic microscope is a type of optical microscope used in petrology and optical mineralogy to identify rocks and minerals in thin sections. The microscope is used in optical mineralogy and petrography, a branch of petrology which focuses on detailed description of rocks. The method is called polarized light microscopy. Depending on the grade of observation required, petrological microscopes are derived from conventional bright field microscopes of similar basic capabilities by adding a polarizer filter to the light part beneath the sample slide, replacing the normal stage with a circular rotating stage typically graduated with vernier scale for reading orientations to better than 1 degree of arc. Adding a second rotatable and removable polarizer filter called the analyzer to the light path between objective and eyepiece. Petrographic microscopes are constructed with optical parts that do not add unwanted polarizing effects due to strained glass or polarization by reflection in prisms and mirrors. Phase contrast microscope. Phase contrast microscopy is an optical microscopy illumination technique in which small phase shifts in the light passing through a transparent specimen is converted into amplitude or contrast changes in the image. A phase contrast microscope does not require staining to view the slide. This type of microscope made it possible to study the cell cycle. The phase contrast microscope is widely used for examining such specimens as biological tissues. It is a type of light microscopy that enhances contrast of transparent and colorless objects by influencing the optical path of light. Applications of microscopes. Optical microscopes are the ones most familiar and used with visible light and transparent lenses to see the objects as small as about one micrometer such as red blood cells or human hair. 
a contemporary light microscope has a resolution around 1000 times and allows the eye to magnify objects separated by 200 nanometer. The stereo microscope is frequently used to analyze the surfaces of solid specimens or to carry out close work such as sorting, dissection, microsurgery, watchmaking, small circuit board manufacture or inspection. The phase contrast microscope is widely used for examining such specimens as biological tissues. It is a type of light microscopy that enhances contrast of transparent and colorless objects by influencing the optical path of light. The phase contrast microscope is capable to display constituents in a cell or bacteria that will be normally be difficult to see. Now let us summarize. The word microscope is derived from the Greek word micros which means small and scopion which means to look at and the science of exploring small objects applying to such an apparatus is known as microscopy. A microscope is well defined as an optical apparatus that uses an arrangement of lenses to yield an enlarged image of small objects. A small microscope is a microscope that utilizes one lens for magnification and is the basic framework of light microscope. Von Liu Wen Hock microscopes comprises of a small and single converging lens attached to a brass plate with a screw apparatus to support the sample or specimens to be examined. Stereo or dissecting microscope is an optical microscope type fashioned for low magnification examination or a sample using incident light illumination rather than trans illumination.